All right, this is our new gaming show. What do we do on this gaming show? We're gonna talk and drink and ask you questions. So what are we talking about? Um, I don't know, maybe like a billion dollar purchase that happened this week? Hmm, I wonder what that could be about. Uh, nothing, never mind. I was... So YouTube buys YouTube. Twitch for one billion Whoa, what? dollars. This is really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> one billion. I see you've I see you've bought my company, Mr. Powers. No, but seriously. So what do you think this is gonna do for the Twitch community? Well, it depends on how much YouTube changes Twitch. It could go one of two ways. Or three ways. It could get better. It could stay the same or it could ultimately be the demise of Twitch. I don't know about it being the demise of Twitch. It could be like a slow death. I don't think it's gonna die. If anything, it'll become too mainstream and then people will look elsewhere for I think what that Twitch kind of, used to be. Twitch is already too mainstream. Yeah. Well, see, then I don't think it's gonna change too much. I think if anything, it'll get more mainstream than it already is. And then people will just go look somewhere else for, I don't know. What do you want to? What, I don't want to use. I don't want to use the word hipster, because <laughs> it's not what it is. But well, I've seen lots of other streaming services try to, you know, get off the ground, but they just end up dying because Twitch just has all the traffic, and mm -hmm. people don't really feel the need to leave Twitch. But if YouTube makes changes, enough of changes for people to feel like they don't like it anymore and they want to leave, it would really help other streaming services that are still out there, like Hitbox, for example, is still yeah. out there. How long has Hitbox been around? I'm not sure exactly when it started. I first started hearing about it, probably, I wanna say like six months ago is when I first started hearing about it. Probably, I'm sure it started before then, but so once people started mentioning it to me and people were like, hey, have you tried Hitbox? If you go to it, the layout is just like Twitch. It's like the same thing, but they have their own player and everything. It's not like an embed or anything like that. So that's okay. cool. And it's still in beta, so I don't think they have any sort of like partnership I don't or know. anything like that yet. I don't think it's too, I think Twitch is definitely gonna change, but I don't think it's gonna die. It's not gonna go anywhere. If anything, well, it's gonna get bigger and it's gonna get more, I don't know, commercialized. More than it already is. Yes. <laughs> the policies could change and well that's only if copyright starts going in there but with streaming i think youtube is a little bit different because it's like i said like videos and, it, yeah. and it's not streaming with streaming i guess it's but then there's the past broadcasts that are archived yeah i mean how would i don't know if that would cause any issues or if they might get rid of that feature i don't think they'll get rid of that feature if anything they'll make that more feature more prominent because they're going to want more money off the past videos They'll probably be more likely to want you to record your, like, they might even make it to where all of your streams get automatically recorded and you might have to delete them yourself or something. Because the more streams that are up or the more past videos are up, the more money they can make off ads. Who knows, maybe the chat will die less. <laughs> die <laughs> like less. Like reconnecting to chat. Yeah, Trying that's one thing. Again. <laughs> Twitch has been very buggy, I don't know. It's always, it, that's just how, this is like one of Twitch's charms. Is that it, that it cuts just, out in, on you? Yeah, just randomly, or like it just, it's been doing the newest thing Twitch has been doing is where it just like eats chat. Where like you'll type something and it just, the other, no one else will see it. Really? It, it just randomly messages get eaten, yeah. So I don't, I'm not really, I more just watch Twitch, I'm not, I'm gonna kind of like a creeper. I don't really like talk to people while I'm watching, so I don't know anything about the chats. Well, a lot of people who are familiar with me know that I'm a streamer. They know that I've been streaming since late 2008, early 2009. And if I if there are changes that I don't like, I will probably be giving Hitbox a try. And I, I'm all for supporting the, you know, the, the, the smaller, I wouldn't say companies because they're not a company, but you know, this there's something that is not so huge and and panders to the, go watch this tournament and ads everywhere. And I don't like that. It, it kind of gets rid of the whole, you know, like we're just a group of gamers hanging out feeling. Yeah. It's not really like a, 
a hangout anymore. It's more of this guy's a star. Let me watch him. It, and you praise start to him. feel like you're watching TV, you know, to some extent. It's it's not like it's not, it's not so much about the community anymore. You know, like the JTV days. This is a transition. All right, so <laughs> Twitch Twitch has been bought by YouTube, but we're gonna talk about something else now. The indie stigma. What the indie stigma is, is that when you say indie game to somebody and like what their mind pictures, I mean, not everyone, but a lot of people picture that they just picture like five fat slobby neck bearded guys in a basement coding some 2D sky side scroller. That's like the default thought of a so lot a, of people. So a hipster playing Fez in a coffee shop. Or that. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, I mean, yes, there are indie games that are 2D side scrollers, but also Star Citizen is an indie game and they have like, what, $46 million right now just from crowdfunding because the definition of indie, all it means is that there's no publisher. That's it. That's the only thing. No publisher equals indie. The end. Doesn't mean indie equals 2D side scroller. Doesn't mean indie equals hipster. Doesn't mean indie equals five fat nerds in a basement. Just means no publisher. Yeah. Titanfall originally was supposed to be an indie PC only game, but then they sold out to EA and, and it became a Call of Duty wannabe. Call of Duty clone cross With console. Mechs. I don't know. The mech idea was kind of cool. Mech but... and parkour. Yeah. Just. Well, what do you think of indie game? What do I think of indie games? Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of, I've kind of been playing nothing but League of Legends and, and I actually just got Heroes of the Storm beta, uh, alpha invite. I was going to say beta, but it's not in beta yet. And I'm pretty excited because I love like World of Warcraft and Starcraft and stuff. I don't I play World never of get Warcraft into Starcraft. anymore. You didn't like Starcraft? Starcraft I, I just couldn't get into it. I when I was younger. I really like the Warcraft RTSs, but I couldn't get into I don't know. I like the more like primitive fighting with swords more than like shooting each other with lasers. Well, I'm excited about Heroes of the Storm because it's more objective based MOBA where you actually have to do the objectives and not just focus on killing creeps and killing the base. Killing the base. Yeah, you there's objectives and you can play characters from StarCraft and Diablo and Warcraft and that's really cool for me. And I've been playing League for so long that this it's nice to change and I've love being able to play Kerrigan and just like jump in and kill somebody. Are there any upcoming games coming out that you're interested in? Well, we did a few of them at PAX East, the Hyper Light Drifter. Yeah. That was that one looks really cool. I'm pretty, super, super excited for that one. The game at PAX East I'm interested in is um, Rain World. Rain With World? Slug Cat. Slug Cat. Slug Cat. That little cat. It's funny. He's, he's sluggish. It's funny looking. The funny looking he slugs cat. around. Oh yeah, is that what he does? Yeah, he, slug, he slugs. He slugs. But that at the speed of does a cat. Does he leave a trail? At the speed of a cat? How fast <laughs> is the cat? As fast as a cat. Alright. <laughs> a cheetah. A cheetah's a cat, and that thing gets pretty fast. You know what games are coming out really soon? Mm. Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, that's a pretty awesome looking game. Yeah. I'm gonna be streaming it. Yeah? You already have it? Yep. It's awesome. Yep. A very kind person gifted it to me on Steam. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, I'll be streaming that. Where's mine? I want to stream it too. <laughs> I have, I have six viewers. It's great. We can play multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. You can find me. I'll be a guy in a little suit, I'll hunt. walking around. I'll hunt you looking down. Like a normal person. You're gonna hunt me. What are you gonna do? Wait till I'm in the middle of an intersection and turn on all this traffic lights. Uh, a really good method to find. The person that's trying to blend in is that you do something that causes the public to panic, mm -hmm. and then you. And then I won't panic. Yeah. I'll be like, "This is awesome." See, exactly. You, you <laughs> look for the person who doesn't react like as quickly as everyone else, and that will give away the okay. other player. That's a that's a good tactic that I heard from someone recently. That's an interesting version of multiplayer. Is there any games that you're looking to? That I'm looking to. <laughs> that you're looking to. Yeah, that you're looking forward to. Well, there is one game that I'm gonna sound like a hipster. But a lot of people haven't heard of. Unfortunately, I wish more people heard of it. You've never heard of it. They have a Kickstarter right now, and it's not doing so well. But it's called Origins of Malu. Support it. Help her play it. Well, I'm going to tell it. them what it is first. Okay. Why well, would, I mean, just throw money at things aimlessly. <laughs> throw money at it. <laughs> but So she can play it. it <laughs> it's a sandbox MMO. Think of, like, think of, like, if, you know how Eve 
and characters, the, the players rather, just control what, everything that happens, all the drama, the huge world wars, everything is just player created. It'll be like that, but not in space. It'll be on a planet, which is called Malu. And what else do I want to point out? The there, sky? <laughs> this is what you're looking at. There are no factions. <laughs> there are no factions. But players can create factions by guilds joining together, and then that is considered a faction. So there can be two factions, seven factions, 20 factions, one faction. One billion factions? One billion factions. <laughs> That's a lot of factions. And <laughs> it is this complete freedom sandbox, but there is a story to it as well. Okay. Sandbox with a story is how they advertise it. What's the story? I don't know. You don't know the story, <laughs> but you backed it? And you want people to back it? Because I know the gameplay and I know I want okay. to play it. All right. You know? I'll give you that. So, and, and it's indie. You know, the indie stigma. The indie stigma. Hence Kickstarter, you know, to help them out. I don't know. The whole indie stigma thing, I think it's just people in general don't... They want to be different. So And then the, when things... And then some people are different they're like oh that's different i don't like it and then they'll like call it indie or well hipster. see i think the indie stigma would have been accurate like seven years ago yeah but it's no longer accurate today well even with indie music indie just means that you're doing it yourself something you want to do yeah and you're not gonna take shit from somebody and be like oh yes i'll do this for you and you I'm know what sorry. i really like about indie games no no matter which indie game it is is because there's no publisher telling them what to do. Like EA? Telling them what to do, or rushing deadlines, or anything like that. I fucking hate EA. And, and so when a game is an indie game with no publisher, the game is created exactly how the developers wanted it to be. There were, you know, there's no, there's no publisher telling them, oh, like change Super that, Meat Boy. oh, we don't like that, do this I know I, I know I said Fez earlier, but that was actually a really good game, and it took him a lot longer because he was making a game he wanted to make. Yeah. And then Super Meat Boy was the same thing. There was actually the movie, the, the indie something, and it's about Super Meat Boy and Fez and all those indie games. And it's very enlightening. You guys should watch it. I, forget, I don't know the name, but indie we'll put it in the link. The, the indie game in the movie? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy enough. enough. Thank you, Logan. <laughs> and if you notice, a lot of indie games are tend to be really unique and different, and and then games that with publishers that are really popular are just kind of carbon copies of each other. They're not really offering anything new. Exactly. Look how many world. MOBAs there are now. I know I said I play League of Legends. I love League of Legends, but there's so many different League, um, MOBAs now. I mean, I played Dawn Gate for a little while. It's EA's new MOBA, and it's. Let's just say Voldemort from now Voldemort? on. Voldemort's new MOBA. The, the company who shall not be named. <laughs> it's just, just called it Voldemort. We're, we need to come up with a name for EA. That yeah, we can Voldemort. Just... <laughs> you're, you're, you like Ravenclaw? Yeah, I'm Ravenclaw. They're the smart ones. I took some like test online quiz thing. I got this one. I got it too. Yeah. I got Targaryen. You got Targaryen. That's a different <laughs> book. <laughs> okay. So since, you know, indie games they 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 bring more uniqueness to the gaming world and and they and they're not like other games and sometimes there'll be an indie game that is like, wow, there's no other game like this. It what would you want in a game that isn't out yet? but you would really like to see be turned into a game. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that. Yeah, that's that's a thinker. Yeah, and we wanna know your guys' opinion. We want this to be more of like a laid back gaming show. We're gonna talk about well, our opinions and we want you guys to have, show in your opinions in the comments. So we wanna know if there isn't a game out or like game style that's out right now, uh, what would you want in a game that, it, that there isn't one of? Yeah, like storyline or gameplay or even like art style that you just don't really see. I mean, even if it does exist already, but it's just not really out there yet. You know, like there aren't that many of it yet. You know, what would you like to see more in the in video games today? So let us know in the comments and then we'll tell you what we want from a game and we'll talk about what you want in the game. Cheers. To the new gaming show. It was like perfect timing almost. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little buzz, leave me alone. <laughs> um, <laughs> Already? Yeah, well, this is pretty strong. What are you, what are you drinking? I'm drinking, what are you drinking? this. What, <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Empty is what it is. Oh. Um, Harpoon Black Forest. It's an Imperial Cherry Chocolate Porter. Doesn't even taste like cherry or chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Does it just taste like beer? It, yeah, I don't know. They always say those. That's why I can never like beer, because all beer just tastes like beer, and I don't like it. Yeah. Until the next Valentine's Day. This is a Valentine's Day beer? What? It's cherry and chocolate, you know? I didn't even read this before I drank it. Man, oh, how old is that God. thing? How old is it? <laughs> From Valentine's Day? I don't know. I was, I was worried about that. I'm drinking, time. which is getting kind that of That looks low. like juice. It's mostly you, juice. Mostly juice. Okay. It's pear nectar. Pear nectar? With... Rum. With rum? Delicious rum. Goes with everything. Rum gives me headaches. Even milk. Milk? <laughs> rum and milk? Milk is good for you. <laughs>